Wow. Oh, can, can you see? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let's start. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. My name is Yoshinori Tano. I'm going to talk about Japanese occupational therapy. Next page. Okay. Um, oh. Hi. Um, okay. First, let me introduce myself. I was with Red Cross Medical Center in Japan from 2003 until 2006 as an occupational therapist. Currently, I am a special education school teacher for 14 years now. Occupational therapist will do everything we can to help people who needed us to make life easier for them. It is defined as an occupation-focused therapy. Guidance and support provided in fields such as medical care, public health, welfare, education, and employment with the aim of promoting human health and well-being. Okay. Um, OT is one of a medical team job and OT is one of the rehabilitation type. Many people have many needs to fill in the gap between medical care and many their daily life needs. OT can support to fill in the gap. Do you want to know what kind of rehabilitation job it covers? There are three major rehabilitation jobs in Japan. First is the physical therapist that is around 125,000 people working. The second largest is the occupational therapist, that is about 99,000 people working. The third one is the speech therapist, with around 34,000 people working. Okay. Japanese OT works in four fields. First is Mental illness. This is the origin of Japanese OT. Second is the physical disability. This field has something to do with uh, orthopedics, neurosurgery, neurology, etc. The third one is special child. I belong to this field now. And the last, um, but not the least, elder people. As you may all know, the number of elderly is increasing in Japan. The gap between the young and the old generation is extreme. In the coming years, we need more caregivers from other countries to work in Japan. So the demand on this field is high. In mental illness, this field of OT supports manual work, like walking, doing sports, farming, drawing, coloring books, and many more. For, for special child, this field of OT supports the children. We teach them how to move properly. We help them improve their input sensory. Let them practice activities of daily living, just like 
how to play and how to communicate with others. Next page. Uh, for physical disability, this field of OT focuses on body functions, structures, and activities, for example, uh, hand therapy, upper limbs training, uh, wearing clothes, how to uh, enter a bus stop. Many Japanese likes to be in a bus stop. And uh, OT uh, makes simple all sources and teach how to use it. Uh, for elder people, this field of OT supports them to do sports, exercise, manual work, communication, and so on. OT approaches everywhere. Um, this is the international classification of functioning by the World Health Organization, published in 2001. And the illustration shows that health condition affects body functions and structures, activities, and human participation. It also shows that certain factors like the environment and the personal factors is also significant in this cycle. It has something to do with well-being. It contributes a great deal. Uh, OT can also support uh, care staff. OT can do assessment, then give suggestions and advice on how to support your case. Give tips on how to do ADL and IADL. About ADL, for example, and getting in and out of bed, dressing, eating, bathing. About IADL, for example, using your phone, shopping, washing, dishes, management, money. And lastly, OT can connect with different professionals in their uh, respective fields. Right now, I connect many special education school teachers other OTs, PTs, and those who are not part of the school. I help them um, through adjustment, suggestion, explanation, support, etc. That's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you.